Welcome to my tutorial on how to use the video player plugin and how to apply it video to in-game objects. You will have to download MKV Extract GUI to extract the audio stream. But first let's download the plugin. Simply click on projects, search for video player. and then select it and click download. You don't need the code folder for this tutorial since it's only needed for C++ use. <coughs> you will only need the both of the bin folders and the video flow graph XML. Simply drag it over into your CryEngine 3 folder and replace any existing files. Now we are done installing the plugin. Uh, we will have to download some sample files. Simply grab some here in my thread. Here they are. Let's uh, select Big Bunny, Big Buck Bunny. Go to your game folder. And save it. Now we will need to extract the audio stream using MKV Extract GUI. You will have to rename the file to MKV. Drag it in, select the audio stream, use source directory for output and now extract. This will create an org file. Now you're done. You can convert this org file to MP, MP2. Video is also not playing. You can uh, remove the audio track from the MKV stream to minimize the file size. libraries are included in bin folder everything is there the flow graph xml is also there so we don't need to create everything new let's start up the editor log in Open the forest map, go to this house and now let's load up our flow graph. So select the debug mode if you want to see what is happening in the flow graph, it can be a bit helpful. And you see it's working. You can have 3D sound. See the nice uh, sun effects. It's 
it's also working from underwater. You can zoom in, you can also have uh, full HD resolution if you want, no problem. Decals are uh, light. Now let's add an additional video. First uh, open the material editor and let's have a look at the material we are currently using to play the video. It's located uh, on the structures buildings, fishing houses. If you now click multiple times on the submaterial you can see the texture refreshing. Please note the uh, submaterials IDs are offset by one so if you want to use the first submaterial you're zero. We are now going to insert the video source. Simply connect the game start with the open and resume to start the video immediately. Now select the big bug bunny uh, .mkv file. Now let's create a sound mode. Select the exported awk file. Now let's uh, select the material we are going to change. First we need to activate all layers so we can select the door of the house we will use the door as sound source simply select the sign selected material add the video material Connect on start with play and on end with stop. Place the video ID to the video material and the on start to override. We're going to use recommended settings. Now let's select the material. This time we are going to use the roof. You can see it changing here, so we selected the correct material. Okay. Click on the little uh, symbol. You can see now roof is uh, the material but uh, this is wrong since we need to select the current material so let's go in again this time select the parent material click the little symbol and now enter the sub material ID You could also select a different texture slot here. So, now we're pretty much done. Let's try it out. 
pensaba si no another video playing on the roof You can also see almost no performance impact, but it will hit performance depending on the artist. Get probably three or four different videos at the same time. So let's try out some other settings. Also you can see the nice uh, debug view. We are now playing another video, the elephant stream video. a very large file 30 minute video now let's uh, define a custom resolution to 64 and also in loop You can also change the speed. So let's try out the 64 resolution. You can see it's very pixelated, but if you want to save some memory or you only need a small resolution, this is the way to go. I will also demonstrate some other custom resolutions just to give you an idea. Uh, Now let's try some high resolution stuff. You can also see here another place the video material is used and here. So oh, that's it for this tutorial. I will create more tutorials as more features will become available. The next tutorial will pretty much be about the integrated sound and the full screen video support. Bye.